The topic of circumcision is a controversial one. Anytime we talk about it on the show, there is usually a heated debate on both sides. On one side of that debate, though, is a man by the name of Vin Vincenzo. He's an Italian dude who absolutely despises the idea of circumcision without consent. Now, in the United States, a lot of children are circumcised as soon as they're born. And of course, it's without their consent because they're infants and they don't have the ability to make that decision. Vincenzo thinks that this is absolutely ridiculous. Now, recently, he had to get circumcised for medical reasons, although he did not explain what those medical reasons were. Now, in order to raise awareness about how cruel circumcision is, uh, he has started a crowdfunding campaign to raise $40,000 to raise awareness about circumcision and how it could be harmful. Now, what do people get if they donate $1,000? Well, he has a clever idea. He has created circumcision sculptures or sculptures made of fake foreskin um, to raise awareness and also to raise money. So there's an example of what the sculpture will look like. It's made of silicone. It's not actual foreskin, but it's a little questionable to say the least, at least questionable looking. I wouldn't want that as a prize. It first. looks like a bustier. Yeah, I, a really creepy looking one. No, it's just interesting because he wants people to donate money. And I think that, you know, this doesn't work as an incentive. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want it, but it's interesting. Anyway, uh, for those of you who want to know exactly what happens during a circumcision, we have a video for you that's really difficult to watch. Take a look. Mm. This is the way they circumcise. They cut here. They cut here and goes like this. Then they cut here around. <laughs> and this is the tissue left. <coughs> um, okay, so that is a very telling video. I don't think a lot of people know how it works. Um, before we did this story, before I read about Vincenzo, we did a story on the Young Turks about circumcision. And before I was on the fence, but after doing a lot of research on it, I realized that people who are against it are absolutely right. If you want to get circumcised as an adult, you should be able to make that decision for yourself. Someone else shouldn't make that decision for you, especially because in some cases, people do lose sensitivity. In some cases, things do go wrong. And you got to do a cost-benefit analysis. I think that the costs outweigh the benefits. And even when it comes to the benefits, consider the fact that in the Western world especially, we have resources necessary to keep people clean and safe from STDs. You don't need a circumcision to prevent those sexually transmitted diseases. That's my take, though. I want to know what you guys think. Drew, make your point. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I mean, obviously I don't remember having it uncircumcised, so I can't really say, so I was forced to have a circumcision, which is fine, which I, I enjoy, my, my captain's fine, and, uh, <laughs> but I just feel like, you know, I don't, I just feel like, uh, you know, like you said, I know there's a lot of health reasons and stuff that goes behind it, where, you know, it's a little bit harder to have, like, a little bit more turtleneck on there, so you got to clean it, keep it clean a little bit more, uh -huh. so, uh -huh. um, but other than that, I just, it's, I mean, you choose either way, like, like I feel like, if they want to wait, and your your family and your you're the parents of the kid, and they're like, well, we can make let him make his decision when he's 18, like when he's able to drive or something. I don't know. And if he wants to get his thing circumcised, let it happen. But yeah. I don't I don't feel see a problem not doing it or doing it unless it's like unless I don't know anybody that's grown up and they're mad at their parents for having their being circumcised. It's really interesting because I also don't personally know anyone like that, but there are these people who would, uh, refer to themselves as intactivists. And they're livid about the fact that, you know, their parents made that decision for them. Some of them haven't been circumcised and they're just, you know, on a mission to speak out for those who have been and might have lost some sensitivity or might have had something go wrong. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a really heated debate and I never realized it until we started yeah, yeah. covering it on the show. Kim, what do you think? You're right. It is hard to know because we're both women. Uh, we, we both have no children, no sons, so it's hard for us to know what it's like. I mean, I've heard men say that circumcision is mutilation, and I've heard some men say, you know, I'm kind of glad this happened. I don't know. I don't know if an adult male would ever choose to do this. I know two who have chosen to do it. Wow. Which is fascinating. Yeah. And they don't regret their decision for doing it, but they were adults when they did it. So you make an informed decision about your own body. I just know that as a woman, I don't want anyone ever making a decision for my body other than myself. Right. And so I think the same courtesy should be extended to men as well. I think it, like, I feel like 
insecurities. Like you said, I think you said one of the guys was maybe like insecure about it with another female. So I, it's the same thing as I correlated to where women are insecure about their bodies. Maybe they get breast augmentation or something. Right. Well, they just would like, okay, I feel better about myself. Well, I guess if you want to yeah. choose to do it, if you, so you have people, a choice to do it, you can do it. Exactly. Some people do it for aesthetic reasons, but again, you make that decision when right. you... Uh, There's religious reasons. For sure. Oh, yeah, of oh, course. Sure. Yeah, that's the biggest reason why people do it. But mm -hmm. in the United States, it's interesting because Christian religion has nothing to do with circumcision, mm -hmm. but a lot of Christian people decide to circumcise their sons. What's the reasoning behind it? Right. You know, it's, it's really interesting stuff. All right, so here's the question for the story. What's one thing in your life that you just could not live without, Kim? Civilization. So... I learned through camping that I hate camping. I need electricity, I need running water, I need indoor bathrooms, I need people around me to wear deodorant, and I need Wi-Fi. I need it. All right, I totally agree with you on that. <laughs> Drew? Um, pizza. If you don't know about me and um, wow. if you've ever seen my Instagram anytime soon, I am pretty much obsessed with pizza. So if I could not have pizza, I think I would... I feel about her, like I feel like her, like I'm not civilized anymore. Damn, that's like an essential <laughs> of life. Okay, fascinating. Um, for me, I feel like I can't live without my phone. I am addicted to my phone, I'm obsessed with my phone, I'm on it constantly. Um, I think I might have an unhealthy addiction with it, but my phone is my security blanket. It keeps me connected to people I love, it gives me information when I need it the most, it lets me check on my bank accounts when I need to, it's great. So I could not live without my phone. And also one other thing, I'm gonna cheat a little bit, um, Latino men. Uh, so tell us what you couldn't live without. Comment in the section below. We do want to hear from you guys. Remember that we do read your comments and we do uh, make videos where we read some of them and respond to them. So please comment in the section below and we will see you soon.